The purpose of this video is to dig much deeper into advanced Google search techniques. Our next example of a research question is this. Was COVID-19 the first pandemic in history to trigger conspiracy theories about the reason for the outbreak? Notice I've got links here to the key terms. It's very important from the outset that you are fairly clear about what these terms mean. And of course, as you research, you'll gain much extra clarity and understanding of what these key terms refer to. Pandemic. Pandemic is the worldwide spread of a new disease. Viral respiratory diseases such as those caused by a new influenza virus. Coronavirus is an example. A pandemic is not the same as an epidemic. Good to know that's the kind of thing that you need to clarify. So a disease that spreads across a large region, for example, multiple continents of the world. So COVID-19 is again mentioned uh, earlier, SARS infections. We've also got the plague mentioned. Okay, that takes us back into history. The worst epidemics and pandemics in history. This one looks like a good sight. Okay, American polio, epidemic, so not a pandemic, Spanish flu, but did it spread globally? AIDS pandemic, swine flu pandemic, Ebola epidemic, so different to a pandemic. Clarify your terms. Conspiracy theory is another term that we need to clarify. Conspiracy theories. Ideas based on fear and fantasy, not fact. What is implicit or implied in many contemporary references to conspiracy theories is that they're not based on scientific fact. But let's have a look. So a conspiracy theory, a belief that some secret but influential organisation is responsible for an event or phenomenon. A lot of conspiracy theories revolve around what governments are doing in countries, or even what particular countries are doing, or what groups outside the government are doing in particular countries. So you can have a look at information around that definition. Let's move on. So what we need to do is to come up with strategies. We've got two strategies outlined here. We'll try strategy one, then we'll move on to strategy two. So for search strategy one, our search terms will include the word pandemic, the phrase conspiracy theory. Now have a look at how I've phrased this here. Why do I have conspiracy, then fear, and then asterisk? I'll explain. Very, very handy, that asterisk because that asterisk catches any words that begin T-H-E-O-R, doesn't matter what letters follow. For example, it would catch the word theories or it would catch the word theory. So you don't have to worry too much about whether to write conspiracy theory or conspiracy theories. The asterisk will catch anything after T-H-E-O-R. This first strategy also involves the idea of leaving out COVID-19 in order to catch information about earlier pandemics. We'll, we'll have a go, we'll experiment. That's what research is all about and it's actually what makes it fun. We'll experiment and then see how well this search strategy serves us. We've got another search strategy. That would be to use the word pandemic, the phrase conspiracy theories, you know, written in exactly the same way, and also to search using the name of a specific pandemic plus the phrase conspiracy theory. For example, AIDS, conspiracy theory. This is a link to an advanced Google search template. We'll click onto that in a moment. This is how the template looks. So the first search box says all these words. You could actually use the advanced Google search template for all your searching. 
At the most basic level, just put all the search terms that you think would be useful in this first box. But you can use the template much more thoroughly, depending on you know, the information you want and how complicated the question is. We've got a, this exact word or phrase box. For example, if you wanted to investigate the Spanish flu, you could write the phrase Spanish flu here. Remember that a phrase, for the, term, in, for the purposes of searching, a phrase simply means that you've got two or more words placed side by side. There's an any of these words search box. And these are not, there is a none of these words search box. And we're going to put COVID-19 in the none of these words search box. Let's use the advanced Google search template for this search. A reminder, search terms will include the word pandemic, the phrase conspiracy theories, and in the none of these words search box, we're going to write COVID-19 coronavirus. In order to get to the Google Advanced Search template, you simply Google Google Advanced Search. OK, so we want pandemic. Conspiracy theory, just reminding ourselves. So conspiracy with the asterisk. None of these words. So we don't want COVID-19. We don't want coronavirus. We don't want corona. What we could do is write edu there. That would bring up results with authority and expertise or be much more likely to. But we can always in the first instance run it without the edu. Let's run the search. On the relationship between conspiracy theory beliefs and Okay, can you see it's got COVID-19? So it's simply written in a different way. So that tells me that I need to go back and put a little dash. I'm now going to run the search again. See how we learn simply through searching. That's got COVID without the COVID-19. So again, we need to put COVID separately. Run the search again. Okay, now that has wiped that out. Zika virus pandemic, epidemic viral conspiracy theory the Zika virus in the USA. Okay, that looks relevant. The politics of conspiracy theories on AIDS in South Africa looks relevant. We've got some good results here. We're now going to go back and experiment with writing EDU in the domain site. Let's run the search. Honours thesis, medical racism and AIDS genocide, genocide conspiracy theory. Now, the wonderful is, thing is that sometimes um, theses, that is like an incredibly long essay that someone writes when they're at university. It might be for their master's degree. It might be for their PhD, whatever. Uh, and some of these are freely available on the internet. Good to know. It actually looks like we've got some good good hits. So that is quite a successful strategy. 
our search strategy two, research pandemic. We've done that. We've learned a little bit about different pandemics. We could use the name of that pandemic and conspiracy theory in separate searches. For example, Black Death Conspiracy Theory. In the any of these words search box on the advanced Google template, we could write the words and phrases that have a similar meaning to conspiracy theory. For example, conspiracy theory, rumor, superstition. That is something that you can try yourselves. Okay, tip. Even learning just a little bit about a topic will help build the capacity to select useful search terms. Looking into the term pandemic gave us a sense of a range of pandemics that we could then go on to investigate. All the best with your research.